Martin Wright, Win News. Meanwhile, on the last day of campaigning, the Cairns First team has made a last-ditch bid for votes. Merrill candidates Val Shear claims she now has proof toxic waste is being dumped into the Trinity Inlet from the old council dump. After months of campaigning, Val Shear and her team of council candidates today hit the road one last time and the Cairns First leader couldn't resist taking a final swipe at her opponent. Council is lying. I mean, I'll come straight out and say that. The mayoral candidate claims these photos are proof household rubbish, which should be processed at the Bedminster plant, is instead being dumped at this Portsmouth landfill site. She says water samples taken from a nearby drain show heavy metals are flowing directly into Trinity Inlet. Zinc is 1,500 times higher than the level that ought to be expected in a marine environment. But Can City Council says the Environmental Protection Agency hasn't raised any problems with the site. We undertake the sampling like our licence uh, requires us to and the EPA are the regulator. In a statement this afternoon, the EPA says it's waiting on the results of samples taken from the landfill on Monday, but at this stage has no concerns with the site. The landfill's close to the public, it's fully fenced off, so I don't know where those samples have come from. It's Val Shear's second attempt for the mayor's position. Last election, she attracted almost 42 per cent of the vote and says this time round she's feeling quietly confident. The feel in the general community is that it's time for a change and we're just hoping that that feeling in the in the region translates into votes tomorrow and uh, that we will sweep into power. Renee Ball, Win News. And be watching Win on Sunday for up